normal people all of a sudden like hate Elon Musk. I'm like, why do you hate Elon Musk? You're like, oh, he's a little billionaire. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's an because he's rich. I really wanted to riff on um, the whole Kanye West meltdown. I don't even know I, much about the whole Kanye West meltdown. He's I don't want to. Let's, let's but, not get into it now. But yeah, uh, but like I was because I yeah. followed it. I was like, I could really riff on that. I could do a whole yeah. episode on what was going on there. You know? Yeah. And then there's like this whole thing with uh, everybody hates Elon Musk all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Like what? The, that to me is the most mind blowing thing. Where like normal people who I know, <laughs> normal people, all of a sudden like hate Elon Musk. I'm like, why do you hate Elon Musk? You're like, oh, he's a Little billionaire, I'm like what are you talking about? He's an a because he's rich. <laughs> no, but he's like he's like doing so much good. <laughs> you know what I mean like so much good for humanity? What has he done wrong? It's just because all the media they don't like him now because you know it's left wing media and and I guess he's you know steering more towards the right, whatever. This subject seems to be coming up a lot in my my calls and dealings as well. But honestly, like like what you just said, I haven't really come across anyone that has a legit bone to pick with Elon Musk and like a solid argument. He's taking on humanity's biggest problems. And I literally just finished listening to the audiobook that was released, I think, four years ago. Oh, I never heard it. But she did a fantastic job with the fact checking and everything. We're definitely due for a part two. Someone's got to get a second uh, Elon Musk book out there. I feel like he's taken on everything. He's taken on transportation, communications, climate. He's going to make us an interplanetary species. Like he's taken on the biggest problems in human existence. Like I believe, I, I truly believe he deserves all the success that he that he wants. Like, what the hell? Of course. Is it the one that's called Tesla SpaceX and the Quest for a Fantastic Future? Ashley Vance? Ashley Vance. Yeah, it's, I'm an audiobook guy. And it's narrated by a dude and uh, narrated by Fred Sanders. But you could tell Ashley did her homework, man. Because at the end of the book, she's got all these like appendices, like confirming his education and confirming this and confirming. The amount of people out there that were trying to like, you know, you, you didn't graduate and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, who the F cares? Like, seriously, like. I mean, why would you care that much about someone's education? He's still taking on the world's hard, hardest problems that faces humanity today. It makes me it makes me laugh that so many people have so, such a, a bone to pick with Elon Musk. I'm like, really? Is is he really making your life that bad? <laughs> well, I'm on Facebook now, and I guess because I've clicked on or engaged with articles about Elon Musk and the whole Twitter takeover thing, right? Every single article is negative. Like, I've not seen a positive article about Elon Musk taking over Twitter, right? And then I go into the comments. It's like a good 90% of people bashing Elon Musk. And there's a few comments being there like, I don't get it. This is, this is how you start and grow a startup. Like, this is the playbook of what he's doing. It's like, why is he making so many changes and changing his mind and, and pivoting? It's like, that is how you run and build a, a startup. Like, he's basically using, like, you know, lean startup principles. Like, people don't get it. It's like, and it's like, who are you to judge? This guy is, like, you know, one of the richest people in the world. And, like, <laughs> in the Facebook comments, to, you know, placing your judgment. Like, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Anyways, the hatred towards... Elon Musk is uh, odd, very odd and uncalled for. Yeah, that's that's one way to put it. Remember we talked about it before? Why does everybody hate Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, but everybody loves Elon Musk? We were talking about this like a few months ago. Now the media has turned. It's like everyone just follows what the media says and they're just like, oh, now we hate Elon Musk. It's like, okay, let's go charging, you know? Like who's next? Let's jump on the bandwagon. Yeah, right. Whenever I see people who are in the media and who could take that much pressure, like even when like Joe Rogan was getting, you know, the whole Spotify thing, and you know, yeah. all that stuff. And even like uh, seeing Andrew Tate, you know, and he got all, all this hatred and all that kind of stuff. Like I experienced that myself. I had a situation, you know, and we'll talk about it, but you know, had a lot of immediate exposure that ended up turning out to be negative, you know, and it was like a lot of pressure and like, I was not very happy about it. You know, so when seeing people like on the world stage, just getting bashed by the media, the media just hates them. You know, to me, I see it's like, it just, the media is just, it's like unethical of how they, can try to spin stories in negative ways to try to tarnish somebody's reputation. Yeah, it's it's like the more more success someone finds, the bigger target you have on your back, and you really need to have a thick skin. You really need to have a thick skin if you want to. Oh yeah, take on some of that. I think Elon Musk is maybe an agenda, but then they also look at what is getting us to clicks. I'm surprised that talking crap about Elon Musk is potentially helping them getting more traffic. To me, is like it's weird that that's even a thing. It's weird that people are going along with this whole idea that Elon Musk is a bad guy. Okay, so now that you've gotten a taste of the power that YouTube marketing will bring you and your business, now you realize you gotta get started. But where do you get started? 
let alone scaling a YouTube channel, how do we even just start a YouTube channel? Well, that's why you gotta go to yt4business.com, find the link below. It's an entire A to Z program that will take you every step of the way. We'll see you there.